Hi, welcome to Playable. We've been working on our end game play. The idea of, is the power of the kings. Here we have a problem by Tom Wisrow. It is red to move and win. You will be red. You can play along or watch. Before we move, we study the position. It's five versus five, but you have two kings. If we can get rid of white's king here, we'll have a winning advantage. Now we're going to let white on his turn jump out checker, a sacrifice, in order to get rid of his king. We move 19 to 15. This will also forces white to go to the side of the board. He can't go to the center. White jumps, has to jump. And now we exchange. Do you spot the cut, the exchange? You go six to 10, and this gets rid of white's king. White jumps, you jump. Now it's four versus three, but because of the power of the kings, you have a winning advantage. White's only move is forced to go 17 to 13. Now this king here is doing his job preventing white from going to center, forcing him to go to the side. We go 10 to 6. This also frees up this checker to go here. Now if white goes here, we would just go here and win. So we're going to show you this example here. White comes here. Now we go again 5 to 9. White has to play 25 to 22. In this position, you're going to exchange. You're going to cut off, and it's going to be a three versus two now. You go here, and white jumps. You jump. White's forced to go 17 to 13. Now you just go nine to six. This is a stronger square, square than to come here. It gives you more options. If white goes here, you would go here and win. We'll move this back. So white plays here. Now what do we do? Well, we have the power of move. Do you see it? You connect the two kings. You go six to ten. This forces white to go thirteen to nine. And now you have a two for one. And the winner move on white. Do you see that? You would come in here, white has to jump can, uh, this way, you can't go jump backwards. You jump two, and you have the winner move on white, which just really means the last move, the controlling move. Learn how to play in end games like this will not only give you confidence, but will make you a better player. Thank you for watching this video.